Hello everybody and welcome to Bear Bear Reviews with me, your host Jack. And tonight we have a little bit, another one picked up from the junkyard down in Nottingham on their distribution company. And this is uh, Trailhead uh, India Session L uh, from Two Beers Brewing Company based in Seattle, uh, Washington. It clocks in a nice 4.8% and perfectly balanced for 48 IBUs. And obviously is kind of a low ABV but really hoppy sort of ale thing going on. Uh, this was one of the favourites of about three or four of the bartenders at Junkyard and hence why I really wanted to pick this one up and give it a try. Um, random side note, Merry Christmas everybody, I didn't release a video on Christmas, I think I did like one just before, but uh, a very Merry Christmas belatedly, this is probably going to be a couple of days after Christmas, this one's going to be uh, uploaded, so pull some of this fellow out, eh? Ooh, missed then. And we have a lovely kind of bright orangey coppery coloured beer with a nice big fluffy head on the top of it, it's going to stick around, leasing beautifully, Pen plenty of proteins in there, um, looking good, a little bit, little bit of haze on there, I'm assuming it's not like um, you know fully filtered or pasteurised or whatever they are doing out there, so let's get in there and give it a good odd smell. Yeah, it's got some hops in there alright, it's quite a quintessential uh, American grapefruit sort of aroma, nice sweet citrus, a little bit of floral, kind of sudsy as well, a little bit like kind of soapy, possibly mosaic sort of nose, but nice and aromatic. I can definitely smell a bit of malt character under there, some some crystal or caramel or something like that, a little bit of kind of toffee caramel sweetness. Smells pretty good to be honest, so cheers everyone to get in there and give it a good old try. Yeah, certainly easy going. There is just the merest kind of faintest hint more character to that. That kind of little bit of toffee and caramel hit just the base of it. And a little bit of nuttiness as well. And then there's just a general kind of smooth, sweet citrus, oranges and grapefruits. That floral aspect's coming through quite a bit as well. And there's a nice just so bitterness at the back end of the palate as well. It's a little bit thinner than kind of English versions, if you say saw an English Cascale at 4.8% that was nice and hoppy, I think it would have a lot more punch and body than this does, it's very very it's very thin on the body but it's not watery, it's kind of just about bordering that edge, so yeah, it's very much sessionable, it, it drinks really smooth and easy and I guess ticks the box in that regard it's meant to be a nice easy going super, super easy sipping ale it's not going to I guess from some of the um, fellas at the junkyard said they're hoping this was really going to wow me and be one of the kind of best session IPAs. I think it's up there. It's a decent session IPA, but there are probably far better session ales out there. Things like the Go To by Stone is great. It's, it's all the punch of like a really hoppy IPA, just in a very very small body. And Founders All Days is a pretty decent one. It's got a lot more malt character to it than say this one, so it kind of fulfills that ticks that box a little bit as well. Um, just in the American sense, at least there's some fantastic English variants, and I think it's probably what us Brits do better than the US is we do lower ABV beers. Fantastic as well. Case, uh, case in point, um, quarter IPA or QIPA by uh, Siren 2.7. Mental, really good beer. Worth checking out if you do look out for those kind of low ABV beers as well. It's cracking. Um, Brewdog's Dead Pony is an easy go-to in, in any bar there up and down the country as well. Um, it's one to check out. Well, I'm sure you'll all try that one. But there you go. Yep, it's an easy-going little session ale. It does what it says on the tin, and it's, yeah, it's decent enough. Pretty good. So please like, favourite, comment, and subscribe. Until the next baby review, cheers, everyone.